Hello and welcome. This is a practice focused on neck, shoulders, and upper back. So if you feel tight or or this area of your body is needing some extra love and attention, this is the practice for you. We are going to need a blanket or a towel. We're going to start in an upright seat and then we'll use this prop later. You can take that prop now underneath your booty. Sit upright any way that feels comfortable. And we're going to settle in for a few breaths. And then we're going to practice brahmari, which is a humming or buzzing pranayama. We make a humming sound and we can bring our attention inside our bodies to feel the vibration of brahmari. It's kind of like a massage from the inside. So this can be a really useful tool when we feel tightness and pain. Let's take a few moments to settle in, close your eyes or soften your gaze downward. Welcome some audible sighs through your mouth. As you exhale, invite your shoulders to slide down away from your ears. As you exhale, invite your shoulder blades to soften down your backside. Now for Brahmari practice, we'll keep a little space between the teeth, unhinge your jaw. Eyes can be opened or closed. And when you're done exhaling with that humming sound, take another inhale and start another round. We'll practice several. Exhale everything out. Welcome and inhale as you're ready. Full breath in. Then as you're ready, exhale, hum with brummery. Mm. Welcome another inhale as you're ready. One more round. Mm. Notice the vibration still alive inside your body. Maybe you feel this vibration in your Skull, your neck, your jaw, shoulders, upper back, chest. As you're ready, you may widen your eyes. Feel free to use Brahmari as much as you want in your practice. You could exhale every time with Brahmari, and that would be perfect. So feel free to use it as you like. We're going to come to hands and knees, and we'll have a few postures with knees down. So if you want padding, take your blanket there, climb on top, come to tabletop, then lift your tail, look forward or up for cat pose, for cow pose. Then exhale, curl your tail, round your spine for cat, 
Continue just like this. Inhale, lift your tail, look forward or up for cow. Exhale, tuck your tail round your spine. Relax your neck. Continue a few more repetitions. And then let's please lower forearms down. You may loosely interlace your fingers and let's take a couple rounds of cow and cat with the elbows and forearms down. As you round into cat, you might reach your hips back in space any amount. Then inhale into cow, shift forward a little bit. And exhale into cat, round and sink your hips back. Couple more like this. So maybe you're feeling a little chest stretch, a little stretch for your shoulders as the elbows stayed glued and you reach your hips back. All right. Now let's pause with the hips reaching back. Plant your palms, so scoot your hands out a little wider. Walk your fingertips forward so you're trying to scoot your palms forward an inch or two. Your shoulder blades will hike up more toward your ears. Arms are straight, maybe elbows down or lifted, forehead down on the ground. Let's just take another inhale here. Let your shoulders move toward your ears as you reach your sit bones back and down. Full exhale. Now plant your palms down. Use the strength of your arms and your shoulders to lift back up to tabletop. You can walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Thread the needle. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. This is an important part. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Then exhale, thread your left arm behind your right. Lower your arm and shoulder and head down for just a moment here. Then inhale, reach your left arm up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, thread your left arm behind your right. One more, inhale up. Exhale, thread it behind, then let's pause. Let's pause and thread the needle twist. Lower left shoulder down. If it doesn't make it down, you might rest it on your blanket. Your right hand can stay where it is, or you could walk your right hand over to the right. Point your right fingertips toward the right. Press your palm down. Twist your chest open toward the right. You can walk your right arm forward or take any other arm variation you like. Three breaths here. Steady your gaze, bring your attention to the back of your rib cage. Imagine your rib cage is a turtle shell, and as you inhale, you're breathing into the turtle shell of your back rib cage. Broadening, widening your back rib cage. Then, as you exhale, feel your rib cage hug back inward toward its center point. As you breathe in, broaden the back of your rib cage, widen the sides of your rib cage. As you exhale, feel your rib cage hug back in toward its center point. One more like this. Plant your right palm down where it began. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Ooh, ooh, make those sound effects. <laughs> then come in for a landing. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, thread your right arm behind your left. Lower down for a moment. Then inhale, right arm up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, thread your right arm behind, spread those shoulder blades wide. One more, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread it behind, let's pause. Lower head, right shoulder and arm down. You can keep your left arm as it is. Draw your left shoulder away from your ear. Or you may walk your left arm out to the left, fingertips point to the left. 
You can press your hand down. Twist your chest open to the left. Take any arm variation you like. Walk arm forward, another option there. Steady your gaze and close or close your eyes and let's focus on feeling the breath fill the back of the rib cage. Then as you exhale, feel your rib cage hug back in toward its center point. Complete your exhalation. Part of how we're supporting shoulders, upper back, neck, is with rib cage breath. So we're welcoming the back and the sides of the ribs to broaden and expand as we breathe in. Contract back inward as we breathe out. Then let's take left hand underneath shoulder. Inhale, right arm up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Oh, I know it's a lot. Come in for a landing. Please make your way to downward facing dog. You can get rid of your blanket. Make your way to downward facing dog. From tabletop, you can walk your hands forward a bit, lift your hips. Come into your down dog. Pedal your heels down if you like. Take any other movements your body wants. Then let's steady gaze between feet. Find a gaze point between your feet. Let's take a rib cage breath here. As you inhale, feel the back of your rib cage broaden, your side ribs widen. And then as you exhale, feel your rib cage hug back in toward its center point. One more like this. Inhale here. Full exhale. Look between your palms, walk your feet forward. Come to standing forward fold. Then relax your arms, your neck, bend your knees. Roll up one vertebra at a time, all the way up. Once you're all the way up, please face any direction you want. We're going to take some diagonal arm circles. Let's start moving the right arm. We're going to take the right arm, reach it across the torso toward the left side. Your shoulder blade spreads away from your spine. Lift your right arm up. Your shoulder blade lifts up toward your ear. Then your right arm reaches at a diagonal behind. Your shoulder blade draws down and hugs in toward the spine as your arm comes down. So let's take diagonal arm circles in this direction. We're going to keep the rib cage pretty still. So you might take your left hand to your sternum so you can feel that your rib cage is remaining pretty still. And then Use your rotator cuff muscles, the movement of your shoulder blade, to do these diagonal arm circles. So you're using your shoulder blade to lift your arm up, to draw your arm down, to reach your arm across your chest. Go the other direction. Now, if there's anything that feels uncomfortable, make this circle smaller. Mm -hmm. Modify it any way you need. Our main aim is to warm up the muscles around the scapula. I'm feeling them warm. <laughs> Let's take the other side. Right hand to your chest. Reach your left arm across your torso. Reach your shoulder blade away from your spine. Then your left arm lifts up towards sky. Your shoulder blade lifts up towards your ear. Reach your left arm down and behind toward the diagonal. Your shoulder blade draws down and it hugs in toward your spine as you complete the circle. Continue like this. Let's welcome rib cage breath. Feel your whole rib cage expand as you breathe in and especially the back of your rib cage and the sides of your rib cage. And then as you exhale, feel your rib cage hug back in toward its center point. 
good. Let's go the other direction. Reach your left arm back, up, down, and front. So you're using your rotator cuff muscles to lift the shoulder blade, to draw it away from the spine, down and toward the spine. Hmm, one more like this. Okay. Now please release your arms. Bend your knees if they're straight. Root down into the ground. Let's kind of get a little floppy here. Then we're going to take a right ear to right shoulder. Let your head be heavy. Right ear to right shoulder. Shoulders are heavy. Head is heavy over to the right. Reach your left hand away from your shoulder. And then play around where with the placement of this left arm. Forward, back, down, or up. You might spin your palm forward. Ooh. <laughs> up. Reach through your fingertips. Welcome a full inhale and a full exhale. Now look down toward your right hand. Tuck your chin toward your collar. Keep reaching through your left arm. And maybe that arm wants to move into a slightly different position. Let your head be so heavy to the right and down toward the ground. Welcome a full inhale and a full exhale. Reach through your left arm. And then use your left arm to help you lift back up to center. So reach, 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 lift back up to center. Now left ear to left shoulder, go nice and slow. Mm -hmm. No need to force or rush it. Let your head be heavy. And then reach your right arm out to the right side. Reach through your right fingertips. Move your arm or rotate. Close your eyes or steady your gaze. Welcome a full breath in. Full breath out. Let your head be so heavy to the left. One more like this. Mm, reach, reach, reach through your right arm. Then take your right, take your chin toward your left collar. Look down at your left hand. Let your chin tuck in toward your collar as much as your head wants here. Feel free to move your right arm and breathe here. Full inhale. Full exhale. Let your head be very heavy. Rib cage breath as you inhale, let your rib cage expand. As you exhale, rib cage hugs in as you reach through your right arm, head heavy. Now use your right arm to help lift your head back up to center. Now we're going to take standing side bend. So feet can be as wide as your hips are a little wider. Again, we're going to invite the shoulder blade to be moving the whole arm. Exhale everything out. Plant your feet, little bend in your knees. Inhale, reach your left arm forward and up next to your ear. So your shoulder blade's lifting. And then as you exhale, side bend over to your right. Slide your right hand down your right leg. Yes. Now more weight is rooting through your right side. Perfect. You might feel your left heel a little light. Can you lengthen your left heel down toward the ground? Ooh, take an inhale here. Then exhale back up to center. Inhale, right arm forward and up, shoulder blade lifts. Then exhale, side bend to your left. Slide your left hand down your leg. Press your hand and leg together as much as you want here. Now more weight is rooted through your left side. Great. Your right heel may feel a little lighter. Can you reach your right heel down toward the ground? Take an inhale here. Exhale back up to center. Inhale, left arm forward and up. Shoulder blade lifts. Exhale, side bend to your right. Lengthen your left heel down as you inhale here. Exhale back up to center. Inhale, right arm forward and up. Shoulder blade lifts. Exhale, side bend to your left. 
Lengthen your right heel down. Take an inhale. Exhale back up to center. One more time. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, side bend. Good. Lengthen uh, left heel down. Take an inhale. Exhale, back up to center. Last one. Inhale, right arm up. Shoulder blade lifts. Exhale, side bend to the left. Lengthen your right heel down. Take an inhale here. Exhale back up to center. Now it's time for goddess pose. Let's take feet wide. Bend your knees. Toes can be pointing kind of forward or more out as you want. Now let's find our stacked canister. What I mean by that is skull is stacked over rib cage which are both stacked over pelvis, rather than something like head forward or a back bend. Take your elbows in front, join your fingertips and your thumb tips together like this. And then you're going to press your fingertips and thumb tips together so you feel your chest muscles working. Mm -hmm. Reach your elbows forward so you feel your shoulder blades wrap around toward your side rib cage that deepens your armpits. Now, this is our inhalation position. So we're going to breathe into the turtle shell of the back rib cage, press the fingertips and thumb tips together, inhale here. Then as you exhale, widen your elbows, drop them down a little bit. And hug your shoulder blades together without changing the position of your spine, so without moving into a back bend. Inhale, arms in front, press your fingertips, thumb tips together, reach your elbows forward, breathe into your turtle shell. Then exhale, elbows wide, down, and behind. Inhale, arms forward, press, broaden back rib cage. Exhale, elbows wide down and squeeze them together. Now let's pulse with the legs. Inhale, arms in front, straighten your knees. Then exhale, wide elbows, bend your knees, hug your knees back. Inhale, straighten, arms in front, broaden your turtle shell. Exhale, bend your knees, wide elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades together. One more. Inhale. Then exhale. Now keep your knees bent, arms in front. Press fingertips and thumb tips together. Inhale here. Reach those elbows forward. Exhale here. Full exhale. Let's take another one like this. Let your shoulders be heavy. Crown reaches up. Inhale. Broaden back inside ribs. Exhale everything out, rib cage hugs inward. All right. You may lower your arms and straighten your knees. Heel toe your feet back in toward one another. So feet are as wide as your hips are a little wider. We're going to take a standing floppy twist. So this is a whole body experience. Your Legs are moving, your pelvis is moving, your arms are floppy, so much so that you might be giving yourself a little love tap every time you make it to one side. Now, if you keep your head centered, so you're looking ahead and you're not letting your head follow your chest, then you'll get some rotation in your cervical spine, your neck, which is good. We want to be able to rotate our neck. So... Arms are floppy, shoulders are heavy. <sighs> That's it. Okay, you have another breath or two here. Now we're going to let go of muscle effort, let momentum take over, and then watch your body come to stillness. So close your eyes and try not to interfere. Just watch the movement of your body transform into stillness. As you're ready, you may widen your eyes. It's time to come down onto your mat. 
If you want to turn your lights down or off for your rest, we are nearing that. Now's the time. And we're going to take supported fish pose. So I'll suggest that you have your blanket or your towel folded, maybe something like this. And then you can roll one of the short ends. You can figure out how to roll your blanket any way you want, but this will be kind of a thicker roll than rolling from one of the long ends, which will be a thinner roll. So I'll suggest rolling from a short end. You can use also a pillow underneath your back or something else. And sit in front of the roll, recline over the roll so that the rolled blanket is underneath your rib cage. You can see the bottom tips of my shoulder blades are on the rolled blanket. The rolled blanket is not underneath my low back. It's pretty high on the back. And then we can extend over the blanket so the head comes down. Let's take the arms out to cactus arms, kind of like you had them in goddess pose. And if you want to change the height of this, please do that. So we just want a little gentle thoracic extension, a little gentle back bend in the thoracic spine. Here, I've planted my feet down, my knees are bent, and then I'm resting them together. So that's an option. You could have your knees pointing straight up with not, without resting them together. You could extend your legs straight on your mat or take any other leg variation you like. Now, steady your gaze above or close your eyes. And as you breathe in, feel the back of your rib cage press down into the blanket and widen. Follow your exhalation all the way to its end and invite your body to melt over your prop down into the support of the ground. As your body breathes out, welcome your shoulders and arms to be heavy. As your body breathes out, welcome your pelvic bowl to be heavy. You have another few moments here. Invite your body to be as melty as possible, surrendering into the support of your props in the ground. All right, it is time to ease our way out of this supported fish. Plant your feet down, knees bent up toward the ceiling if your legs aren't already like that. Roll over, ooh, exhale. As you're rolling over, slide the prop out from underneath and then lower back down onto your backside. Take your feet as wide or wider than your hips and rock your knees from side to side. reclined windshield wipers. Please hug your knees into your chest. Rock from side to side.
it is time for your rest. So as you're ready, you may plant your feet down and you can straighten your legs on your mat for Chavasana, or you might rest your knees together in a constructive rest position. You're welcome to take any other resting position you want. Quiet your eyes, wiggle around and adjust. Welcome some audible sighs here. And as your body breathes out, receive the gentle weight of gravity. As your body breathes out, receive the gentle weight of gravity. Feel the bones of your body sink down into the ground. As your body breathes out, feel your pelvic bowl heavy. Feel your rib cage sink down into the ground. Feel your shoulder blades heavy. Elbows and hands heavy. Skull, legs and feet heavy. When mind becomes active, return to the felt sense of gravity, the feeling of your body heavy and sinking down into the ground. You may begin to deepen your breath. If you have more time, you're welcome to rest here longer. And if you are ready to transition, you can bring some movement into your body. Make your way onto one side and rest there for as long as you like. As you're ready, 
you may lift on up. Join your palms to your heart and let's take a breath together to close this practice. Exhale everything out. Welcome and inhale as you're ready. Rib cage expands globally. Full exhale. Thank you. I hope your neck, shoulders, and upper back feel great. I bow to you.